Oh my gosh, man. So, Naruto Manga Chapter 600. Man, good job. Massage Kishimoto, wonderful chapter. I really enjoyed it. Awesome. So, let's go to talk about it. But before I get into the specifics, let me just highlight this chapter. The end of the chapter was just amazing. Blow, blew me away. Definitely. Um, towards the middle of the chapter, it was pretty good as well. And the beginning, kind of slow, but overall, it was pretty good. So let's go ahead and start off. Uh, chapter 600, of course, was a continuation of 599. Uh, we see in this chapter that Kakashi is still trying to figure out if it's indeed actually Obito. Obito is basically telling Kakashi that, yes, it's me. It doesn't matter who I am at this point. What matters is my ultimate goal. Kakashi, you know, he, he's still kind of skeptical at this point. He's like, well, why is Obito doing this? And he goes into a flashback, and we see again of how Obito dies, uh, his presence to Kakashi, which was his eyes. Um, Obito actually dying, and we also see uh, Kakashi protecting Ren, but we also see um, an underlying message here that Obito really has strong feelings and connections towards Ren, which we automatically know. Now, Obito makes a statement in this chapter. He states that um, I can never forgive you for one thing. And, you know, I was like, well, what is it? I mean, I had speculations of it. And, I, and he says that you letting Ren die. Now, um, this shakes up Kakashi so much so to the point where Kakashi can't even look at Obito in his eyes. I mean, that's like the ultimate thing. If you can't look at somebody in their eyes, to see something, that's a sign of weakness, especially in the Shinobi world. So, you know, uh, after that, you know, Naruto pretty much tells him, you know, Kakashi, no matter what happened in the past, you know, you can't let that dictate your future. You know, you have to keep going forward and just don't worry about it. And, you know, Kakashi, he just can't do it. He's just looking down, saying, Naruto, Naruto, no, 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 you just don't understand. You're not understanding what's going on. You don't know me and the history of this guy. And so, anyway, um, you know, towards the end, somebody shows up, and this just shakes everything up, just messes stuff up. So, the person who shows up at the end is my dog. Now, here's the thing. Um... And that basically ends the chapter. Now, if Madara shows up, that definitely means that he's messed something up with the Hokage, with the Hokages, or with the Kages. Somebody has either died, somebody has um, been injured, or somebody is on the verge of death. Um, I think that the war... So, some, something has happened. You know, I can't sit here and speculate, but if I had to, I would say somebody has definitely um, been injured. I don't know who, but um, something has happened that's very catastrophic, and it's going to change the Shinobi world. Now, now that Madara's here with Obito, here's the thing. I think Obito is obviously corrupted. His mind is not right. And when I say this, I mean, he, there's still a chance for Obito to turn good. Um, now, I now I know people are going to say, well, with this chapter, it feels like Obito is just dark and we can't change, stuff like this, but I don't think so, because, you know, since Madara came in, I think he knew eventually that it was getting to the climax. And even at the end, it says the war is getting to, to its climax. So I think that Obito still has a chance or there is still a chance that Obito can turn good. That's the reason why Madara came back to for backup, so it so this wouldn't happen. So nothing that they could say could say could, could control them. Um, now, also what this could be, uh, this may not be the real Madara. This could be a Zetsu in the form of Madara with this power. So um, you know we don't know all the powers of Zetsu, but that could be a possibility. Um, I just don't see how it, 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 it's it's possible that Madara could be there and he was just fighting with the Kages. I don't see how they would let him escape so easily. But if it is indeed Madara, something's about to get messed up. So they, they, they can't, I don't believe that they can handle, well, I know for sure. There's no way that they, that, that Kakashi guy and Naruto can handle Madara, the Madara, and 
Obito with his new form. Unless Obito tur turns over a new leaf and he fights Madara, then that could possibly happen. But I, I just don't see it in this chapter. Uh, or as of right now, it's, it's, it's no. This is going to be the most catastrophic event unless um, Hinata and Neji and all of them actually get to the point where Sasuke, I mean, well, excuse me, where Naruto is, but then you have to take into account that Sasuke is really close to where Hinata and Neji are, so, you know, it can go either way. Something could happen. Somebody, so, so, something's going to happen. This is just going to be crazy. Um, so, overall, the chapter was pretty good. Really enjoyed it. Um, man, Madara's back. <laughs> this is going to be crazy. Um that's it that's pretty much it guys so um, comment on the video tell me your thoughts on this chapter and um, make a video response I want to see your thoughts your opinions on what you think uh, for this chapter and until then guys check you guys later in another video peace